Most people love summer. Warmer temperatures, picnics, vacations, outdoor sports like golf, tennis, and baseball games. But often, we have an uninvited guest at our summertime gatherings. Mosquitoes. Why do some people attract these pesky insects and others aren't bothered by them at all? And what are some safe options when it comes to insect and mosquito repellents? We'll explore all of that in this episode of Your Best Life. Stay tuned. another episode of Your Best Life. Before we get started, I wanted to take a moment to thank you for all your support for our YouTube show. We want to reach as many people as possible, so if you haven't subscribed to the show yet, now would be a great time to do so. And don't forget to like this video as well. And feel free to share these videos with your friends and loved ones. Those little things truly help expand our reach, so thank you. Now, every year, about 700 million people are affected with mosquito-borne diseases. There are several different illnesses, but you're probably more familiar with the Zika virus, West Nile, and malaria. This summer, West Nile has been confirmed in several states, so it's worth diving into so we can be prepared. Let's review what the differences between these three illnesses are. The Zika virus can cause joint pain, muscle pain, headache, fever, rash, and conjunctivitis, but many people who are infected are asymptomatic. The big thing about Zika virus is if you're bitten by an infected mosquito during pregnancy, you'll have a risk of miscarriage, premature birth, and deformity. The West Nile virus produces symptoms that include fever, headaches, neck stiffness, tremors, convulsions, and muscle weaknesses, but almost 80% of the people who have the disease experience no symptoms at all. But just because you might not have symptoms, this disease still can be deadly. It can cause encephalitis or meningitis, so it's not to be taken lightly. With malaria, there are more than 247 million cases diagnosed each year. It's widespread and very dangerous. Malaria can be fatal, and the problem like, are symptoms like fever, headache, chills that don't show up for 10 to 15 days after being bitten. Hi, sorry for interrupting the show. I just wanted to take a moment to let you know about one of my passions other than hosting this show. I belong to an exclusive wellness shopping club and I've done so for over 20 years. I trust them with my health and my family's health. This club provides US made, safe, affordable, health, household, beauty products, things that we use every single day. Anyway, I'll let you get back to the show, but if you have any questions about joining, I provided info below. Bye. Now, here's some interesting facts why some people attract mosquitoes more than others. One, carbon dioxide. When we exhale, we become more attractive to them. Two, heat and sweat. The higher your body temperature, the more likely a mosquito will find you. Number three, pregnancy. When you're late in your pregnancy, you exhale more often and your abdomen is typically one degree warmer than the rest of your body. Number four, mosquitoes like beer. Who knew? Number five, mosquitoes are drawn to darker clothing. Number six, mosquitoes prefer certain skin bacteria, and when that bacteria mixes with sweat, it's like perfume to mosquitoes. So what can you do to prevent mosquito bites? Well, wearing long sleeves and pants doesn't really help because mosquitoes will bite right through the clothing. Many of the insect repellents have DEET in them, and DEET has been found to be toxic to the central nervous system. Studies show that citronella products really are not as effective as they once thought. So for me, the solution is essential oils. They can be very effective at repelling mosquitoes, specifically peppermint, lemon, eucalyptus oil, patchouli, thyme, clove, clove oil, and they are all safe. So let me show you what I use. It's a blend of five essential oils and it comes in this easy to use spray. It's deep free and dermatologist tested and it's 99% effective against biting mosquitoes. It has this wonderful herbal scent. I've included a product information link below. Thank you so much for watching. Now, please feel free to share this video with anyone who can benefit from this information. Also, if you will, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And finally, I'd love for you to join our community on Facebook. So check out the link for that information below. You can also email me at yourbestlife, the number nine at gmail.com. Until next time, be happy and be healthy.